Hello and welcome to the Gita Cloud Explainer video series, for SAP IBP. This is part 3 of the adjusted key figures topic, to explain how production planners can override production receipts from the plant. Please refer to the part 2 video, to understand how production planners can override production demands on the plant. Production planners need to be able to constrain and override production receipts from the production plant, irrespective of the downstream demand or theoretical capacity of the plant. This may be due to asset availability issues due to scheduled downtime, COVID-related plant shutdowns, quality issues, or regulatory issues blocking production of certain products in the plant. In this example, Plant 1010 manufactures the product IBP100, from subassembly IBP 101S and raw material IBP 103R. IBP 100 has a one-week production lead time. Raw material IBP 103R has a component coefficient of 2. So two units of IBP 103R are needed to make one units of finished good IBP 100. Also, this raw material IBP 103R comes from supplier location with a one-week transportation lead time. Now that we understand the bill of material and lead time parameters, let's review the planning situation in the initial state. Note the net demand for IBP 100 in plant 1010. You may recall from part 2 video, that this demand is flowing from DC 3710. Production receipts key figure for IBP 100 in plant 1010 is 100 units in week 40. This translates to a net demand of 200 for the raw material IBP 103 or in week 39, given the component coefficient of 2 in production lead time of 1 week. This further translates to net demand of 200 units in week 38 on supplier location, given 1 week transportation lead time to the plant. We ran with no stock for any material in the plant or supplier location to simplify the example. Note that adjusted key figures, such as adjusted production receipts or adjusted external receipts are blank in this initial state. A recent audit found issues with the finished good IBP 100 batches, and corrective action is needed with the manufacturing process. It is expected to take a few weeks to get the situation fully back to normal. Production planner models this constraint by not allowing any production for IBP 100 till week 31, and then ramping up capacity with 50% of the production needed in week 32 and 33. Note that part 1 and 2 of this adjusted key figures topic focused on overriding downstream demand, this time we are constraining supply from the plant. Let's see how the planning results change post TS supply heuristic run. Note that there are no production receipts till week 31 now and only half the receipts needed in week 32 and 33. This is also visible in projected stock and deficit key figures, from week 31 to week 33. Also note the supply to DC has not changed in any way. The supply override within the plant, does not change the supply commitment from the plant to DC in infinite heuristic mode. The focus in supply planning process is on understanding supply constraints, not to propagate these supply constraints to downstream DC locations yet. We will cover finite and cost optimal supply planning topics later in a separate video series. Note that net demand for the raw material IBP 103R has been adjusted per the production adjusted receipt constraint. Demand on supplier location and receipts at supplier location are currently the same, given adjusted external receipts key figure is blank. Let's model a supplier constraint on top of the manufacturing constraint. Supplier has communicated a COVID-mandated shutdown, and they will not be able to operate till week 31. They will gradually ramp back up from week 31 to week 33. Let's see how the planning results change post-TS supply heuristic run. Planning situation for IBP 100 at plant 1010 is same as before. This is because upstream constraints from supplier, do not propagate to the plant downstream with TS infinite supply heuristics. See projected stock and deficit at supplier location, from week 30 to week 33, in response to the adjusted external receipts key figure. Planners can set up alerts for such instances of negative projected stock or non-zero deficit. They can then look to resolve these alerts, in order to come up with feasible plans. In conclusion, Adjusted key figures provide a user-friendly option for production planners to override production receipts. They can model supply constraints known to them, independent of the downstream demand from distribution centers. 
SAP IBP has a wide range of demand or supply planning features that your planners may be interested in. Gita Cloud can help you understand how IBP can model your specific planning problems and how that adds value to your planners. You can reach us with a quick email to connect at gitacloud.com. Hope you enjoyed this video, please like and share if you did. Have a great week.